not being on an exterior wall, how do you vent it? So, uh, vent the dryer, that is. So, what I ended up doing was uh, venting it down through the floor, and uh, I'm not sure if you can see this right there. Got this little guy, and um, I'm gonna. I haven't finished installing yet, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and uh, pull the uh, the dryer out of the, the out of the way and kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Essentially, we've got this 90 degree angle that goes straight down into the floor, and you see it slides here. And on the opposite side, at the bottom, I've got the exact same thing, but it's uh, facing the other direction. So I'm actually going to hook this back on here and go down underneath, and we're going to mess with that for a moment. But I do want to make a, a comment that once you push this back up against here, uh, just due to the, the limitations in space, you really can't get to that nut right there and actually tighten down on it. But I did run the dryer without it being tightened, and it slides on so well, and it's, it's pretty precise, that there wasn't any air blowing out of it, at least none that I could tell. I don't know that I'm going to worry about that, it, as well as it allows me to slide it out uh, quickly when I need to, not that, you know, it's something you do all the time. Anyway, let's go under the house and uh, take a look. So here we are under the house, and you can see what I was talking about. I've got this, this secondary piece that essentially slides you know, up and down as needed uh, to the level that, well, you need. It's called the Slim Fit Hookup. And uh, I got this at Lowe's, and you can see how it works there. Um, pretty simple. So now that I've got it here, I'm going to go ahead and spray foam up underneath there because I really don't want uh, any uh, any air coming up through it. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to run a piece of 4 inch thin wall, I think is what I'm going to use. Uh, I had some, but then I ended up using it as part of the septic. And I'm going to run that out to the end of the house, and let me show you what I'm going to do there. Okay, so I'm going to be coming out with that thin wall just right over here, and it's going to come out this side of the house, and it's going to look an awful lot like this, but once I have my skirting coming down, it'll uh, just stub out just a little bit. What I'm going to use is this guy. You can see it's got that flap on it, which is nice, and a little guard to keep rodents and stuff from going up in it. So, thanks a lot.